Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Um, today I am here with baby Drew. And um, Drew is the Andrew Sculpt um, by Mesa Said and poured by Maria Grover. He is my personal baby in my collection. He is 17 and a half inches. And again, I still have not put him on the scale, but they said he's about five pounds, six ounces, which seems about right. Oh, these little fuzzies from this blanket. This blanket always does that. But, um, yeah, so he's a little, little peanut. Um, you know, like I said, not too, too little. He's right there. If he would be any smaller, he probably, you know, wouldn't be like an arm baby. But he's, he's good enough to where he's still a baby that's fun to hold. Um couple things I'm gonna get him dressed I was thinking of putting him in this and when I went shopping for him I really didn't think about the fact that I like for my babies to have be able to have their stomach out um let me see if I can zoom a little bit more for y'all yeah so I like for my babies to be able to have their their stomach out um a little bit or have access to be able to you know lift up and look at their, their little stomach Cause, you know it's all the part of you know having the full body but I wasn't thinking about that so all his stuff is like closed in so he pretty much I've had him in this little well he didn't have on a shirt for a while and I finally put him on a shirt so now I'm gonna actually put him on this I was gonna put him in this outfit which is opposite of what he had on the other day put him on his little pants and his little long sleeve shirt and I'm kind of I'm kind of still torn on doing that, you know? And I brought him a, did I get him a diaper? I'm pretty, what did I do with your diaper? Mm. I hope I didn't leave your diaper somewhere. Crazy. Oh my God, I hate when I do this. So, where's your diaper? Oh. Because <laughs> I'm like, where is this little diaper? Anyway. And guys, just FYI. Um, I was thinking about like You see his little head move. I, um, like I said, I love when a baby head actually falls back. Like, I, like, if I'm not holding it, it falls back. I try to hold, you know, hold it because that's not really how you would hold a real baby. But, um, yeah, so when I was getting ready to make this video, okay, maybe I, maybe I need to come out a little bit more so you guys can see. When I was getting ready to make this video, I was really struggling on make a video I was struggling on which baby between him and Memphis which one to pick up and I probably I said I'll just do him he probably because I don't know that he's gonna be on camera too much more you know I tend to do that I'll show them a lot for a while and then they kind of go off the radar and it's not that I don't love them or the excitement has worn down it's just that I just feel like some sometimes I be feeling like oh people are tired of seeing them and then sometimes I just they just become so much of a personal baby I don't even want to move them from wherever they they are or um something I realized about me now too is that I don't change my babies as often as I used to so it's like making a video and not you know having anything to do with them I feel like, you know, sometimes it might be a little boring for you guys, but yeah, because I don't, I don't change their clothes like that anymore, like every day or every other day or even every week, you know, some babies, 
you know, like um, Aspen and London, they've been in the same outfit for several weeks now. Um, but, and I used to be that collector that would say, oh, I, I'm going to let this one go because I haven't played with this, this one in so long. I'm just over it. And, you know, I'm just, I just probably need to just sell it because I feel bad. It's just sitting. Now, I, I guess I've changed to a different type of collector because I'm perfectly okay with them just sitting and me not interacting with them at all. Um, but it's a difference in them just sitting and you're not interacting because you're just content with looking at them walking past, seeing them. Um, every now and then you just, you know, might want to pick them up or, um, versus they're just there. I don't have, I, I don't even care to look at them. I don't want to change their clothes. I don't want to do nothing with them. The, it's a difference. Sometimes you kind of lose interest in it and sometimes you're just busy or you just don't you just don't want to change your clothes or you don't want to pick them up, you know. Um but when you lose interest and it's like ah, I could have something else over this. That's when it's I'd be like, "Okay, now it's time for you to get sold." Like it's yeah, it's 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 sell time then, like. But just for just because they just sit, I'm okay with that because, you know, at the end of the day, we're gonna say what we hate to hear other people say they're just dolls. But it is true, they're just dolls, and they're not just any type of doll, of course. But at the end of the day, they don't require any special attention or anything like that and that's why we love them well some of us is you get the baby you know the whole baby uh feel you get the baby look you get the little bit of the baby experience because you get to shop for them and all that but at the end of the day you don't have to get baby daycare you don't have to really buy diapers if you don't want to so all the 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 stuff that is really the big expense and responsibility you get to avoid with the dolls so it don't bother me then um i found that back then too to be honest if i be honest that was just an excuse to just sell them <laughs> i would say oh i feel bad for them just you know sitting you know i would say that out loud and i'm not saying i would be lying. I'm just saying I would say it out loud trying to make myself be convinced that you know this 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 one this one baby that I loved so much now all of a sudden I want to let it go. I felt I guess I felt a little bit of guilt. So I tried to, you know, make myself feel better by saying um well it's just sitting there and somebody should be loving them. I feel bad because I'm doing that to so-and-so. But really, in all actuality, it wasn't that I felt bad about it. I just really wanted to sell them because I'd moved on in my mind. I had my eye on something else or was preparing for when something come up that I like and that I would have the money to buy it. Because that's another thing that I... I prefer to do too. I like to not wait to the last minute um, until I actually see what I want and then got to try to sell. Because that's when you get desperate and you lose a lot of money sometimes because people will lowball you and you just want a quick sale just to get some of the money so that you can buy the next thing and you, you just really sell really, really low. It's better when you sell ahead of time so you're not so desperate to take any offer that somebody give you. And don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem with people making offers because sometimes you be looking for those offers. You wish somebody would make you an offer because you do want to really sell it. And sometimes, you know, you can stand to lose 
a little bit more than you want to lose. So if they make you an offer and it's close, you'll go ahead and sell. So I don't have a problem with people offering. I know a lot of people be like, you know, people will be lowballing me, da 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 da. Now, if you're being really ridiculous, that's on you because I'm not going to go for it and then you're going to miss out and then you're going to be upset. But, you know, I can't be mad with somebody for trying. You know, I've had offers on certain babies that was like really, really, really low. And I was just shocked that they offered that. But it was like, hey, can't be mad at them for trying. But, um, yeah, so, you know, I'm just, I forgot what I was talking about, but <laughs> I got so fixated on straightening his sock out, but, um, I don't know. I'm just glad that I'm to a point where, like, like, um, my baby Christian Dior, I really love him. I love walking into the nursery. That's why he was on the 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 shelf thing with the rest of the babies, and I had to take him out and put him in the in the crib um, because I love walking in and seeing him in the crib and stuff. But I really don't have a desire to like pick him up. I do like want to dress him every now and then, but I really just want to see him laying there looking like a, a little real baby there so i'm okay with that mm, what y'all think i know these don't really match match but they got sailboats on it and his shirt's got sailboats on it it's just a darker blue but he do got the darker blue in around the rim of the socks let's show you So, see his little socks and they're cream color so he kind of I mean he got the same theme going I don't know that it necessarily match and I'm trying to debate do I want to do I actually want to keep him in this look at him do I want to keep you in it A lot of, I wonder, like, a lot of the silicone babies are, like, slew-footed. Like, their legs go out. Or... I'm not a big fan on it, but I noticed that a lot of the kits are like that. They either go real bow or out, I don't know. But, but yeah, so that is him. So, anyway, guys. I don't think we need an excuse to sell the babies, but I think the community kind of forces us to have to give an excuse because if you're just selling them, they think something is wrong. So I think we feel like we have to say why we're selling them. Like, um, we have to be like, I, I need this money for a new doll or, you know, something came up personally or I'm just not bonding. It can't just be because I just want to sell it. You know, you have to, it's like, you feel like you have to come up with something. And some people really go all out with their stories. Like, you know, my cat, you know, jumped off the building and, and you know, broke its hip. And, you know, um, the doctor said it only had seven more lives or two more lives. So I had to go ahead and, you know, get it fixed. You know, it's like, thing after thing. He could actually wear these these pants with this this shirt too. But I don't know. For now I'm gonna leave him on this. But I was thinking maybe I should put him on his long sleeves if he's going out. But we'll see. I'll probably just take him a change of outfit. Cause I'm gonna take him with me. To my appointment. We go with my appointment with me, man. <laughs> so yeah. Um but yeah, that's pretty much all I had going on. Nothing nothing major. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. 
and get myself together for work. It's time to go to work. Get busy, busy, busy. Bye.